So it may look like I'm out in the woods, but no, I'm actually in a little forested hill in the center of Santiago. And I'm climbing to the top to try and get a good view of the cityscape. Every landscape photographer needs a cityscape. That's it. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Shut up! I'm just kidding. That's really the one scene I wanted to photograph in Santiago. But next week, I actually have a little bit of an excursion planned. Uh, I'm gonna go out to the beach, we're gonna do some camping, a little barbecuing, bonfires, you know. And looking on Google Earth, it does look like it's got some rocks, like jaggedy rocks area, some sand, some vegetation. So I don't know. Anyway, so that's happening next week, which will be really just a few seconds for you guys because I'm about to teleport you there. Alright, see you at the beach. So I'm here at this beach, um, I came out with some friends and we were just doing a little bit of camping, and when I say camping, it's not, you know, it's very glamorous camping, we've got electricity, there's a bunch of tents set up, you can't see them but they're behind me, but this beach right here has some awesome beautiful rocks, so I'm going to go see what I can try and find, but yeah again, this is this was not a photography trip, and I don't think this beach is exactly like one of the most beautiful landscapes that there is around here, but it's nice, and uh, we'll see. So I just tried and failed, failed pretty hard. I'm trying to get a nice little like shot of the rocks, moving water, eh, just didn't work. So I did come to this area earlier today. There's just these huge rocks and the waves are just pounding against them. And it's a super awesome landscape. Um, and I just don't really know how it's gonna look with the way, I mean, basically the sunlight's gone and it's gonna get real dark here quick. I'm thinking black and white for now, just because the rocks are so black, the water is so foamy and white. So I think there's a lot of good just contrast there. And other than that though, there's no really, there's no color. So one thing to know about the ocean is once the sun sets, you really lose all color in the water. It just kind of turns into this grayish color. When the sun's high in the sky and it shines like down into the water, you actually get a lot of real vivid like blues, especially with a polarizer on. Um, so again, I walked through this area but I wasn't really photo scouting, you know, I was with other people and so I didn't get to really come down to these rocks and look around. I'm just gonna have to find something, man, this is difficult. All right, we'll see what happens. I do hate being rushed like this, but it also adds a little bit of excitement. So I think I might have found the composition I want. Just gotta get a polarizer out. Yeah, it's basically just gonna be some rocks and some white crashing water. So it is definitely getting almost too dark to make a video now. But uh, I have a long exposure going here. It's gonna be about 50 seconds. It's all these rocks and then there's kind of like that nice cool rock that's way out there. It's actually gonna need to be a little bit longer for the foreground. Uh, so this is gonna be definitely an exposure stack. <laughs> oh man. I mean, what a, what a very rushed and not relaxing photo shoot, but I actually think this image might, might have some potential, it might be okay. <laughs> 